My name is Philip Bradrick with Energize, and we're here today to talk about the question of how much insulation do you need in your attic? The first step is grabbing a tape measure and finding out what is the depth of the insulation. So simply insert your tape measure down to the attic floor without depressing the insulation around it and find out what the depth is. In this older home, we're looking at about five to six inches of insulation. And a good rule of thumb is if you have less than eight inches of insulation, it's time to upgrade and add more. The Department of Energy recommends at minimum an R38 of insulation in your attic. A typical blown-in cellulose or fiberglass product like this has an R value of approximately R3 per inch. So if you have less than eight inches in depth of insulation, you have less than an R value of R24. This is significantly less than what is recommended for optimal efficiency. Another good rule of thumb is to check to see if your rafters are exposed. Since wood conducts heat more rapidly than insulation does, exposed wood rafters make your home lose heat more quickly. So make sure when you install your insulation to get a good level of insulation covering your wood rafters for optimal efficiency. Once you've measured the insulation in your attic, you'll know if you need to add additional insulation to make it to that minimum of an R38 level. Remember that attic insulation is the most important insulation in your house. That's because in the wintertime, as heat rises, the insulation in your attic protects that heat from escaping. And in the summertime, when your attic temperatures get hot, your insulation in your attic protects your home from heating up. Tune in next time to find out more about how your insulation should be properly installed. And if you have questions, feel free to contact us.